first started photography, I would just go out and take photos of whatever I wanted without thinking about my surroundings. But what if there was one thing that you could start doing today to start taking absolutely stunning photos? Well, you're in luck because today I'll be giving you one of my secrets to help you elevate your photography game to that next level. Welcome back everyone, I'm James Alcatraz. And if you follow me on social media, such as my Instagram, you'll notice that a lot of my photography, especially recently, has this cinematic look to it. And that's not done by mistake. See, I love movies. I've always loved movies. And I've always loved how they have this certain, every movie has a certain look to it. And although I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, I have learned some things along the way that I would like to share with you. Because maybe it'll help you along the way in your journey. See, if you start studying photography, you'll start to hear certain things get repeated a lot by the experts. And one of those things that gets repeated is how important light is. I'm almost embarrassed to admit that it took me a long time to understand how important light is. See, sometimes I have a hard time thinking in abstract ways. I need someone to show me examples. And oftentimes I would hear people say, light is everything in photography. It's absolutely everything. But I didn't know what I was to look to even look for. But after I kind of figured it out, I now never take a picture without taking into consideration the light surrounding me. Now, before I go any further, let me help you understand a little bit what I mean by understanding the light. See, light, when it's being emitted, casts a certain tone. If you go look at a light bulb or something like that, that's usually what I, I like to ref tell people to reference because that's what really helped me out. Look at light bulbs and see what color they're emitting. Now, whenever we think of light bulbs, we like to think of like a, a white, right? But they're not. Very rarely are they ever just white. Uh, sometimes they're, they have a blue a tone to them or in other cases, a really warm orange tone. And the blue tone is often associated with cold and the, the orange is associated with warmth. And when you start to utilize these two, you'll start taking your photography up a notch. And when your subject is drenched in that orange warm tone or in that light cold tone, you'll notice that your photos start to take uh, a, a, a bit of a setting. You'll start to have a mood. And this is absolutely crucial if you're trying to find your style. Now, although I can go on forever, I mean hours on the importance of light, I'm going to condense this as much as possible so that you can get on your way and start utilizing some of my techniques and some of the things that I've learned so that you can go out and start taking killer pictures yourself. Because personally, I like to do it, like I like to be hands-on. And I, if you guys are too, well, then this is perfect for you because I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown and then you're going to be on your way and you're going to start to develop. Also, if you like any of the content that I produce on this channel, please subscribe, write a comment, like everything. It really helps my channel out. And when you do all those things, it helps me get discovered so that you, I, and someone else can grow together. Understanding the temperature and the strength of the light is absolutely crucial, especially if you're not going to be editing your photos because you're essentially using the light as the edit because of the way it interacts with the colors on your clothes or on the subject or whatever you're, you're photographing. But if you are going to edit your photos, it almost gives you infinite possibilities, especially with, with, Adobe's Light, with Adobe Lightroom. You're, you're almost limitless with what you can do if you understand light, which is how I get my cinematic looks. Now look, today I'm not going to go in depth into how to use Adobe Lightroom or any photo software or photo editing software. Down the road, I absolutely will. And that's something that I'm working on right now. But instead, let me give you an assignment that's going to catapult your photography uh, leaps and bounds. And before you know it, your photography is gonna be better than mine. All right, so this is the assignment. Next time you're gonna go out to do photography, wait for the sun to start setting. Find a subject, it doesn't matter what it is. That's not the point. The point is the practice. F get your subject and let it be drenched in that sun and take a lot of photos. I mean, experiment, really, really experiment. I mean, take pictures directly with your subject in line with the sun. It just experiment and try to see just what the color does and how it affects the colors on the person's clothes, on the person's skin. Now that the sun is setting, use your surroundings. Look for a light post, use that light. If you find a building with cool colors, even better. Use that too. And then once again, let me reiterate this. The subject isn't really important because you can use the building and the contrast that it has as one of your subjects. What you're trying to find out is what the tone of that light that's emitting, how that affects your, your images when you go to edit them or when, you, you're, when you're happy with the final product. So now that you've taken a bunch of photos, 
go ahead and pop that memory card into your laptop, fire up your photo, photo editing software of your choice. Personally, I love to use Adobe Lightroom. It's so easy and it's what I've essentially built my understanding on, but I've used other ones as well. But, this, but Adobe Lightroom is my favorite personally. Now, once you got your photos all ready and queued up, imported, this is when the learning really starts. Go under each toggle, like for example, in the HSL and the hue, saturated, luminance, and the color grading. Go through each one of those individually and play with the slide bar. Go up as far as you can and go down as far as you can and try to see what gets moved. Try to see how much that that bar that slide that you're that you're moving affects the, the light then once you start understanding how the light gets affected by the photo editing software you're going to start to see what the subject that's being affected by the light how that gets affected so go down through each one of these uh, toggles and max it out and then take it all the way to zero and you're going to understand what people mean by learning how light affects your photography and, I don't know, and although there's a bunch of nuances in there, this is like a broad understanding of it. That's gonna help you uh, get, your, get, get your feet going because there's, because there's so much to learn. I don't know it all, um, but I know that all I ever really need and, and whenever I start something or when I do something, I just need to be pointed in a direction and, and I'll figure it out along the way. So that's what I'm hoping to do for you. And then the cool thing, once, once you start doing this all, enough times with your photography, you'll start to be able to edit a photo before you even take the picture. Now tell me that's not something you wanna be able to do. The, the cool thing about this is that it doesn't even take that long to develop this skill. But at the very least, I hope that what you take away from this uh, video is that you start thinking about light before you take your photos. And above all else, if you're feeling like you're kinda of stuck or you have a question, please reach out to me uh, in the comment section or you can even reach out to me personally on a DM on Instagram. I'm pretty responsive. I love to help people out. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up. I really appreciate your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And more importantly, please leave a comment. I, I want to hear your thoughts on my videos. I want to hear anything. I, I want to I get a dialogue going with you personally. And if you know somebody that could really use my help, send them my way. Now get out there and pursue your passion.